Just your sense, having done all this research, what was it, do you think, that made Reg Spears tick? Uh, what made Reg Spears tick, I'd say he's, he's, he's a, he's a thrill, seeker, thrill seeker. Um, he sort of, he's, he's, he's an adrenaline junkie. Um, he likes to, likes to push, push, push boundaries. And, he, and uh, he's one of those guys, when you meet, meet him, um, he, he makes you feel really alive. As, as Dad best described him, I think, he's, you think of Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This, this was a guy who was able to, to bring out the best in people and motivate people. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of people just look at sort of sometimes the misdemeanors that he's, he's got up to. But, you know, there's a lot more to Reg than that. He would always look out for the underdog. And when he was around, he was always being incredibly encouraging and, and what have you. So I'd, I'd say, though, if there was one thing that, that made him tick, it was sort of living every day like it, like it was his last. He ended up in a Sri Lankan jail. This is after being caught with more than a thousand grams of heroin in a shoulder bag. Can you walk us through how he got caught? He he, he was um, running drugs between uh, between Amsterdam and uh, and Colombo, and uh, he was he was caught uh, caught there with uh, with heroin in, in a ghetto blaster. Unfortunately, that there'd been a bomb that had gone up or gone off the previous day at the airport. So they were checking everything. Reg was obviously unaware of this, um, and, and, and the, uh, the drugs were, were in the in the ghetto blaster, and, and he was caught red-handed. And uh, yeah, that's how he ended up in the in the Sri Lankan prison, and obviously ended up on death row there. How on earth do you research a book like this? How do you get to the truth of the matter? Where you've got a guy who's been involved in so many shady things over the years, and you know he loves the thrill. I uh, love the thrill. Yeah, well, obviously from the horse's mouth, most of it. Um, Reg, obviously, been a great friend of of, of my dad, John McSorley. Um, we were able to, to sit down with him and and pick his brain for many hours and and go through the various events. And there really is just so much, so much there. I, I think one of the big challenges was actually condensing everything um, in, into the book. But I think we've really managed to sort of capture the essence of it. But there really is <laughs> a guy like Reg Spears sort of. For most of us, every day of his life, it's, there's generally some kind of kind of event. Where is he now? Uh, Reg, Reg is uh, Reg is in, in, in Adelaide and uh, lives a more sort of peace, peaceful life uh, nowadays. Um, just uh, just with his wife and um, sorry, his partner and uh, and, his, and his dogs. So uh, yeah, no, he's, I think there's been a sort of enough drama fulfilled for many lives. So he's you know obviously a bit older now and is is happy to live a bit more of a quieter, relaxed life in, in, in sunny, sunny South Australia. Look out for the movie. It's certainly a, a movie story, this, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, you're not the first person to say that, actually. Um, there is some, some, some stuff happening in the background. I won't, can't really say too much at the moment, but uh, all I can say is watch this space. All right, Marcus, uh, well done to you and Julie on the book. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Really good to talk to you. The book is called Out of the Box, and that is Marcus McSorley. Hello, this thing on? A triple